Hi everybody and welcome back. This is Tristan from Utah SEO Ninja. I want to start today with a new uh, series of tutorials that we're going to be doing here on the channel just to let you guys know what I'm going to be planning on doing because we kind of finished everything in Weebly and there have been a lot of updates with Wix and I feel like it's time to go ahead and get this started again. So what we're looking at on screen right now is in fact a Wix site. This took like 30 seconds to put together and it's not even close to being finished. In fact, it's very far from being finished. But I just want to show you some of the cool stuff that you guys can do with this in a relatively short time. So let me go ahead and give you a little tour of the site. Uh, first thing you'll probably notice is that we actually have a video background up here on top, which is really cool. And we even have some animations that are built into this. So like this thing just shows up and this thing fades in and stuff like that. And like I said, that's just really neat. So I can scroll down a little bit. Here's a little bit more animation down there. We have a YouTube video tied into this. Ah, you think you're an adult. So um, what we're going to be doing with this page is I'm actually going to be turning this into yet another uh, part of a blog network that I've been putting together. And so that's what this Wix site is going to do. And so that's all this stuff right here. We have some more animations down here, which are really cool. I like watching animations, honestly. I mean, I don't know, it just feels like the site's more alive, if that makes sense. So I like seeing stuff move, especially since we can do that now. And then over here I have a blog that I've already started to put together. And this was awful because if you guys have ever tried to write something with people watching, like to try to type something, is awful. And if you are recording your screen at the same time, knowing that thousands of people are going to see it, like what usually happens with this channel, then it's even worse. So like this whole section right here took me like 20 minutes to write and it's not even that's nothing so just to give you an idea but again this is just the standard blog post so we have our future post that's going to go right here categories are going to go up here you have all your shared buttons right here archives and whatnot all go right there so that's pretty darn spiffy and like i said the nice thing about this is all this kind of comes built in i haven't really done any customization with this yet so while i have this here let me tell you really quickly why i have avoided wix in the past and if you guys have and I've been on the channel for a little while. You'll know that I have done some Wix tutorials before. Uh, that was a long time ago. And then we did a Wix update a few months ago where we talked about how and why the Wix sites were getting de-indexed by Google. And if you're not familiar with that term, when a website is de-indexed, that means that it is removed from Google. And the reason why is because these sites are actually built using something called Ajax instead of HTML. And so what we're looking at right now this isn't actually on the page. I mean, what we're looking at, you could almost think that kind of like an iframe or, you know, like when you embed a YouTube video, you're not actually watching that, you know, that video isn't actually on the website. You're looking through a little window back to the youtube.com. And that's, you know, that's how that part works. And so what we're looking at here is actually kind of similar. Now the downside to that, because obviously we can make some really pretty websites doing this, but the downside is that any text that you have on here or any optimization that you make is very, very, very difficult for Google to read. And so what they actually end up doing is um, they create what's called an HTML snapshot, which is basically a copy of that code that would be on here. So they create that and they give that to Google so that way it can read and optimize the sites. And there was a problem with that optimization with those snapshots uh, a couple of years ago, about or maybe it was just a year ago, where all those sites just went invisible to Google. They couldn't read them anymore, and so all those sites were de-indexed. And they've been working on getting it fixed, and after reading through their blogs and stuff like that, I'm still signed up for all their um, for like their newsletters and everything. It looks like they're taking some serious steps towards fixing these problems, so that way, you know, aside from just being pretty websites, these websites can actually become viable options for uh, any sort of ranking that you guys intend to do in the future. So that being said, uh, let me go ahead and take you over to the editing side and we can get started from there. So uh, this is going to be your main dashboard. If you want to add a new site, you just click on the plus button right up here. If you want to manage a site, you click that right here. And then these are the apps that are built in. So for example, if you have something that you want to do to your site, then you can do it straight from here instead of having to go through the editor and everything else. So for example, if you just want to manage your blog, and so here is our first blog post on this one particular website that we put together. So pretty handy. We're going to come back over here to my site and we're going to hit manage site. And 
this is where you can do all the uh, I guess you can almost call it the back-end stuff you can set your regions your social preferences you can start doing some of your SEO stuff over here and you can set up your site addresses and all that other goodness um, so yeah what we want to do though is we want to edit our site or you click that button right there and so this is how we actually put the site together and again I don't want to dive into all of this right now just because there's a lot to go over there are a lot of options here but um, I'll be doing that in a future video. I just kind of want to show you where things are just to get you started. To create individual pages, you click on this right here, and these are all your pages, just like that. Now I have, you'll see I only have one blog option over here, and I have two right here. That's because I haven't updated this yet. But in this particular case, these different pages right here are actually sections of this site. So if we come back over here and we hit services, it drags us down to the services section. If we want to go to the about, then it takes us down to the about section. Testimonials, same thing. So those are all set up over here on this part right here. And you do that by clicking on this and then changing where you want things to go. Uh, these are, so that's how that works. If you want to add a new page, you just come down here and click on the add page. And there you go. Now, if you want to edit your background, you click on this right here, and this will give you all your different options. Right now, I have the background just set to black because I have the video right here and I don't need anything extra at this point. But you can add in like, you know, background videos, which are really cool. You can do, you know, all this fun stuff. And they really are pretty, I have to admit it. You can also go with just static images. You can pick pictures, you can upload pictures. Hey, that's me! What an attractive fellow. And you can do the same with just different colors. So you can pick those colors or you can add your own colors like that. If you want to add elements to your site, you click on the plus symbol. And here you have a lot of options. So here's your text, images, galleries, slideshows, buttons, boxes, strips, shapes, videos, music, social contact menus, lists, blogs, stores, and more. So for example, if you want to add HTML to your site, like what we've done right here, then you would take your HTML codes um, tile. Well, I guess they're not really tiles in here. Just grab this, drag it over here, and then it will give you the option to edit your code like this, paste your code in there, and you click update, and then you're done. So that's how you do that part. And then if you want to add a blog, now this is something that's a little bit different. So when you create your page, then you can create a page and just call it blog and then what you have to do is you have to grab this blog element and drop it onto that page okay and let me show you how that looks okay here we go so all of this is actually part of my blog element so it takes that whole little template and it just drops it down over here now you still have all your customization options you can take this you can move it around in fact i added that i didn't need it so you can still do all of that. So like here's your, you know, just moving stuff around. That's just fine. You're still totally able. But uh, in order to trigger all these different elements, you do have to use that blog button. Now, if you have apps that you would like to add to your page, so for example, if you want some help with optimization and stuff like that, this isn't the best option on the market. Your best option for optimization is going to be hiring an SEO. But here is the app store so you can add all of these to your website let's see what kind of apps they have and the must haves okay so we have comments an event calendar facebook like pop-up view counter booking site search wix store so you can so you can add stores to this a social media stream all kinds of really neat stuff so you can add all of these to your site and you can use all those and it's pretty spiffy the other options over here, this is to upload content to the page. So for example, if you want to add your own images, your own videos, music, or documents, then that's what you click. And this right here is your blog manager. So this will show you the different blog pages and you can add different elements to those. And then if you want to manage your blog, kind of like what we saw before, here are the blogs. So we can come back and we can edit this, we can add a new post, and we can look at our different categories and our different tags and so on. So there's all of that. And then finally, the last option we have down here is actually something new. This is a, um, a newsletter function that they've added to it, which is neat. I still kind of prefer MailChimp just because that's where all my stuff already is and I don't feel like migrating. 
But if you want to just keep everything in one place and keep it simple, this is an option for you. So there's that. Uh, the other thing I want to let you guys know, and the thing that actually makes these websites pretty cool, is that everything that you see on here, you can adapt and interact with and change and customize and whatever. So for example, say, oh, you like this up here, right? It says, call me, what you can do. Well, if you don't really like it right there, you want to be a little bit lower, well, we can just click it and drag it and drop it right there instead, which is really cool. And that's not something that you can do in something like Weebly or WordPress. So that's pretty handy. So we're going to go ahead and leave that right back where it was. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Or if you want to change, for example, this right here is actually a strip. This is a shape. Okay. So we can change this. We can make it into a video. We can make it into an image. We can do just a color. We can do all kinds of other stuff. Let's say instead we want to take this here, right? And we want to make this into an animation. Let me click on that animate button. And all of a sudden it will spin in or fly in or poof in or do a reveal, slide in, all kinds of neat stuff. I kind of like the arc in. And so in this particular example, this one arcs in from the left. So it comes in like this. And this one comes in from the right like this. And this one spins in. So here is our animate, spin in like that. So for example, if we hit preview again, see, one comes in from that side, that side, and one from the middle. Pretty handy. Let's go back to our editor. So you can pretty much change, animate, or customize just about everything on the screen, which again is really cool. And what's particularly cool about this is if you want to do this with your mobile version, then you can do that too. Now I think that the animations are a little bit different. I think it's delimited there. Is it? Can we do it? No. But you can optimize your page so that way it looks better on a cell phone. So for example, we can see that my video here, this doesn't quite fit on the cell phone because it's too big. So what can we do? We're just going to hide that particular element. It's gone now. All gone. Bye. And it tells you which elements have actually been removed. And then we can add other stuff in here too. So if we want to delete this space, we just push that button and it's gone. And so on. So again, if you like this or if you don't like this, you can move it around, you can adjust stuff, you can do just about anything that you want. And again, that's really the neat thing about using Wix. It's just the level of customization that you have. Now, again, the problem with Wix is you, know, you can make these beautiful sites, but it's really, really a lot harder to optimize these. And that's really the issue with them, you know, to be totally honest. And it's one of the reasons that a lot of people actually kind of avoid using Wix. But again, it looks like they are actively working to improve that, to make it so it's better and easier to optimize. And so we're able to drive more traffic to these sites uh, organically. So if this is something you guys are interested in learning about, I am going to be doing a whole series of these. Um, we're going to build a couple of websites with this and we'll go through it step by step. So I just wanted to show you guys that before we got too far into it. And again, they're beautiful sites and I'm hoping to be able to optimize them better and we'll be able to keep track of all that as well. And that'll be happening over the next few weeks. So if you guys would like to uh, keep on top of these Wix tutorials, then please do subscribe to the channel. And if you are excited about this, go ahead and give the video a like so that way I know and uh, we will go from there. Anyways, I think that'll do it for me today in this quick little video. My name is Tristan from Ninja. Have yourselves an excellent day, and I will see you guys all again next week. We upload every Monday, and I'm sorry this one's coming out Tuesday. Yesterday was a holiday. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.